morning. So if we could all bow our heads as we go to the throne of grace. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for another day. We want to thank you for the opportunity to say thank you another day. We couldn't say thank you enough if we had a thousand tongues. The things that you have done for us, for keeping us, for keeping our children, for keeping us um, for keeping us whole, keeping us in our right mind, for um, traveling mercies, for those of us that are going to be on the road today. Um, we just... We want to thank you, Lord. We worship you. We praise you. We thank you for the opportunity to fellowship with you today. Um, you said where two or three are gathered in your name, you are there also. So we are thankful, God, that you are in the midst today. Um, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We have a strong city. God makes salvation in its walls and ramparts. Open the gates that the righteous nation may enter, the nation that keeps faith. You will keep in perfect peace him whose mind is steadfast, because he trusts in you. May God add a blessing to the reading of his words. Amen. Rosalind Ryder, the pastor of St. Paul AME Church Dickerson. And I welcome you all today in worshiping with us. We thank God, we bless the Lord that you have chosen St. Paul to worship with. You could have gone anywhere, but you chose to worship with us today. I thank those who are on Zoom with us and those who are viewing on our Facebook Live. I, I praise God for each and every one of you. And we pray that you uh, will be blessed uh, with our worship experience today on this Communion Sunday and the second Sunday of Advent. Our focus will be peace today. Uh, we thank you as well, all those who give so generously to the ministry because of your gifts and giving, because of your charity and generosity, we are able to do great things in the body of Christ and for those in the community that are in need. Um, please go to our website to get more information at stpauldickerson.org. Also, happy birthday, happy birthday to all of those who are born in December. We have Sister Betty, Sister Vicki, Sister Mary, Kai, and Messiah. God bless you all. Also, as a reminder, during this holiday season, as you are gathering and celebrating, please remember that COVID is still present, and so protect yourselves. Amen. Try to social distance as much as possible. Wash your hands and um, just stay safe during this season. We pray that you will also continue to Zoom in or watch us Facebook Live this week for our second um, Advent reflection that will be on Thursday at 7 p.m. 7.30 p.m. Last week, we were truly blessed by Reverend Felicia Gross of Community of Hope. And this week, this Thursday, we have Reverend Darrell Summers from Emmanuel AME Church, and he will be preaching on the topic, Peace. So once again, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us today, and we pray that you will encounter the Spirit of the Lord uh, with us today.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you know that Jesus is a keeper? Jesus is a keeper. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, he is. He is a keeper. Glory to God. Our scripture today, we will be in the gospel of John chapter 14, verses, verses um, 25 through 27. Glory to God. I will be coming from the message Bible. John chapter 14, verses 25 through 27. I am telling you these things while I'm still living with you. The friend, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father was sinned at my request, will make everything plain to you. He will remind you of all the things I have told you. I'm leaving you well and whole. That's my parting gift to you, peace. I don't leave you the way you were used to being left, feeling abandoned and bereaved. So don't be upset. Don't be distraught. Amen. May God bless the readers and the hearers of the word. Let us pray. Father God, just settle me right now in this moment. Prepare each and every one of us, whether we're on Zoom or whether we're on Facebook Live. Prepare all of us. Prepare our eyes to see you in this moment, our ears to hear you in this moment. Prepare our minds and our hearts to receive you. Um, to understand your words, oh God, so that we shall be blessed, so that we shall be forever changed, so that souls will be saved, set free, and delivered. In Jesus' name, I do pray. Amen. Amen. I often like to start out with a, a little story that I've come across that um, may be valuable into the sermonic um, sermon topic of the day, and I came across um, this one little story about a Jewish boy. And one day, this little nine-year-old Jewish boy was returning from Hebrew school who tells his mother about the day's lesson. And he went on to say, well, the rabbi told us how God sent Moses behind the enemy lines to rescue the Israelites from the Egyptians. And when they came to the Red Sea, Moses called for the engineers to build a platoon bridge. And after they all had crossed it, they looked back and saw the Egyptians' tanks coming and quick as a flash, Moses radioed headquarters on his walkie-talkie to see him in the bomb to destroy the bridge and that's how they saved the Israelites. His mother was astonished and astounded with her eyes wide open. She said, boy, David, is that really the way the rabbi told the story? Well, not exactly, mom, but if I told you the way he told it, you would never believe it. Isn't that the way we are sometimes? We lack trust in God Almighty. We, we lack trust because our limited minds have a hard time believing the unimaginable. We then diminish who God is and what God can do. And unfortunately, one of the things we diminish is the possibility of peace in our lives because we diminish the one who has the power to give us peace. I say that because I think about how many times I have, and I'm sure you have, have found to, have it hard to um, secure peace on your own. Um, we look for peace in other people. We look for it in drugs and alcohol. We look for it in food. We look for it in sex. We look for it in reality TV shows. We look for it for shopping, Lord, help us on online. But still, still no peace. Still, still, still no peace. So today on this communion Sunday, on this second Sunday of Advent, I would like to briefly touch on the sermonic selection, the sermon, uh, sermon topic, um, the gift of peace, the, the gift of peace. 
the gift of peace. Um, it was through Jesus. It is through Jesus, the Prince of Peace, that all things in heaven and earth uh, uh, were reconciled. It, it was through the blood of Christ shed on an old rugged cross that brought peace. Therefore, we don't have to feel abandoned, depressed, distraught, are in despair. You can believe it or not, you can keep your peace in every situation, every situation. And I know somebody out there, somebody is asking how, preacher. And I'm glad you asked. I'm going to get straight to the points. We got three points. I'm a good AME preacher. Three points, three points, and we'll be out of here. First, you must access the peace of Christ. Mm -hmm. How do we access? Um, the peace of Christ? How do we open, lock, log on to, lock into, connect to the peace of Christ? Uh, peace, the peace of Christ. Uh, we should remember that you have rights to peace. That's how you, you should remember that you have rights to peace. Uh, John 14, 25 through 26 says, I'm telling you these things while I'm still living with you. The friend, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send at my request, will make everything plain to you. He will remind you of all of these things I have told you. Uh, so my brothers and sisters, what Jesus is saying, remember, I'm sending you a friend that's going to give you the passcode. He's going to make you remember everything that I I said so the passcode is Jesus all you got to do is call on the name of Jesus Jesus Irene meaning Jesus our peace in Greek uh, Irene Irene peace peace and you need to take hold of Irene take hold of peace take hold of Jesus the gift of peace pray and seek God in prayer just have a little talk with Jesus just have a little talk with Jesus y'all remember Y'all remember the story about the disciples um, in a boat in a storm um, came up and then they found themselves in this boat and the waves and the wind were shaking them and they had become shook and, and, and Jesus was in the bow of doing this storm and he was asleep and once they stopped trying to handle the storm of their life at that time, um, they gathered themselves and they went down to the bow and, and they had to I would think bow down, get on their knee, get low and go have a little talk with Jesus. Uh, and they said, teacher, master, do you not care that we are perishing? Anybody been in a situation, anybody in a situation now that you are questioning God, whether God really care about you, you don't have no peace, you can't find no peace, you can't hold on to no peace. How many of you are willing to admit that life challenges has caused you to question God? To question God. But I'm just here to tell you today, you don't have to question God, just trust God. I dare you to just trust God. I double dare you, as our bishop say, to trust God. Trust God is enough. Trust God on enough to call out to him. Trust God and take hold of his unchanging hand. Trust God and keep your peace. You got rights to it. You got rights to it. You, you can access it. The peace of Christ. You, you can access it. Mm -hmm. And second, you need to activate. Uh, once you have access, you've connected, you plugged in, you're tuned in, you need to activate the peace of Christ. How do we, preacher, activate the peace of Christ? We activate peace of Christ through our faith. Uh, Jesus activated peace by faith. Jesus called the storm to peace by faith. It, it says in Mark 4, 39, he said, and he woke and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, peace, be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. And he said to them, why are you so afraid? Have you still no faith? We have to activate the peace of Christ by faith. Uh, Jesus is saying, don't allow your storms of life to scare you. Walk by faith, not by sight. Trust me, trust me. I got you. I, I, I got you. He, he got you. He, he got you. And then they were, they were filled with great fear in that moment. And they said to one another, who then is this? 
that even the wind and the sea obey him. Uh, they, they, who is this, they said. They, they couldn't believe it. That They were like the little Jewish boy in the story I shared earlier. They were like many of us today. Our thoughts of God is limited. We struggle to truly trust God. And although we see God is a way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, we still struggle. We, we still struggle at times truly believe in God is capable and desires to blow your mind. God can and will, my sisters and brothers, deliver on every promise. And if we think about it, if we just take a moment to think about that God, 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 God created the heaven and the earth. God created the stars, the moon, the sun in the universe. God created every tree, every flower, every bird, bees, every animal on land and sea. God did this. God created and formed you in your mother's womb. God knows every strand of hair on your head and every cell in your body. God woke up, woke you up this morning with your right mind. And if we think Think about that God commands the wind and the waves to obey. How then, my question, how then God cannot speak to the, your life storms? How is it that God cannot cry in your storms of life? How is it God cannot bring peace and bring wholeness in your life? Uh, you just got to accept access the peace of Christ. You got to activate it. You got to open that gift box called Jesus. Open it up. Open it up. John 14, 27 said, that's my parting gift to you. Peace. Peace, peace. I don't leave you the way you've been left before, feeling abandoned and bereaved. Enter, enter into my peace. He left you peace. He gives you peace. Access it. Activate it. Because peace, peace. Grab hold of your peace. Make sure you keep your thoughts right. Peaceful and positive thoughts. Stop keeping company with fear and doubt. Seek the truth and seek God in every situation. Conversation. Mind your words your chatter, your dialogue, and your conversations, your discussion. What and whose story are you believing? Are you believing the fabricated story of the unbelieving boy and girl within you? Or are you going to believe the unadulterated word of God? You got to meditate on his word, read his word, hold it close to your heart so that you might remember, remember that you have access, access to the peace of Christ and that you have right to it. He gave it to you. It's yours to keep. And you only lose it. You ain't even losing it. You gave it away. Remember, you can activate the peace of Christ because you have power, power by faith. The Holy Spirit has returned to give you this power, to empower you. The Holy Spirit has returned to make you remember everything that Jesus the Christ has told us that we shall be able to do greater things and then we can have peace in our lives. Good God. Good God. Peace, 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 peace. Mm -hmm. Access it. Activate it. And then attend to it. Attend the peace of Christ. How do you attend? I know y'all got questions. I had plenty of questions too. Attend the peace of Christ. Uh, meaning you got to seek and secure the peace of Christ daily, all day long, under all circumstances. Keep your peace. Uh, make peace your focal point and enjoy the gift. Don't you know people going to come along and say stuff to take your peace? They might take it for a second, but you better grab Grab hold of it and take it back. Attend to it. Secure it. Wrap it tight in your mind, body, and soul. Be at peace. John 14, 27 said, don't be upset. Don't be destroyed. Don't let them shake you. Be at peace. Be whole and well. Be at peace in all that you do. Stay away from negative people, people, places, and things that taking you off your, your game or making you be a little bit of shaking uh, and a little flat. Lakey. Uh-uh. Keep your peace. Hold on. Uh, take care of you. Keep your
your peace. If you got to listen to some positive and soothing music, go right ahead on. You need to get up and do a two-step and dance to your life, go ahead on to keep your peace. Attend to it. If you got to take a little walk in the park and under nature and under the sun and under the moons and experience and adore God's creation and get a, a breath of fresh air, keep your peace. If you got to paint and draw and create and express yourself and your feelings artistically, do it. Keep your peace. Read a good book and expand your mind and nurture yourself. I'm just talking about attending, 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 attending to your peace. Uh, you, if you don't do it, nobody else will. Uh, my sisters and brothers, I encourage you to live well. <laughs> live well by keeping your peace. Keep your peace. Eat well. Exercise. Rest. Uh, love and care for others and share for others. Laugh. Keep your peace so that you can laugh. You don't have to take life so seriously all the time. Trouble don't last always. You don't have to take yourself even so seriously. You know you not perfect, never going to be perfect, can't be perfect, you're going to make mistakes, that's okay, boo-boo, it's all right, it's okay, keep your peace, don't seek perfection, seek peace, 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 we're just talking about a little peace, so that you can take a deep breath, oh Lord, take a deep breath, breathe in the breath of life, so that you can nourish your body, now stop being so tight and holding it in, let it go, release, exhale, and then Take another deep breath, breathe in the breath of the Holy Spirit, the, the spirit of the Lord and allow it to nourish your mind, your soul and your spirit. Uh, the word of the Lord in Psalms 156 said, let everything that has breath, Take a breath so that you can praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You can't praise him when your mouth is closed and you're all tight and your muscles are contracted. Uh, let it go. Let it rip. Exhale and breathe in and praise God. Praise God. Somebody ought to be praising them right now for all blessings because all blessings flow from the Lord. Blessings seen and unseen. Somebody ought to be doing a dance right about now. Praising God and shouting hallelujah praising in God and accepting his peace offering Jesus the Christ because he is the one that will establish you reconcile you and restore you he's the one that brings wholeness he can he's the one that'll bring you above trauma of tragedy he's the one that fills your heart with hope uh, when you're hurting he's the one that is loving you and shining on you even in the midst of darkness and sorrow he's the one that brings Perfect peace, perfect peace. So accept God's peace offering. Like, Al, you have access to it. You can activate it. Do you need to attend to it? Because Jesus, this peace offering is the one that reconciles humanity to the divine God, the Father. Jesus, 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 y'all know Jesus, the cornerstone that makes the building whole. Jesus, that is the cornerstone that closed all the cracks, nothing lacking, nothing broke. Jesus, Jesus, the, I'm just preaching, Jesus, the Prince of Peace today. Jesus Christ, who brought peace on earth to all men, uh, goodwill to all men. So my sisters and brothers, remember to access the peace of Christ activate the peace of Christ, attend to the peace of Christ, and then you can sing that uh, old hymn uh, uh, authentically, truly. Um, you will be able to say that it's all is well with my soul. When peace like a river, you can say peace. When peace like a river attended my way, when sorrows like seas bellows roll, whatever, whatever my lot thou has taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. It is well with my soul, my God today, because Jesus is with me, I ain't alone. Jesus with, it comforts me in a time of sorrow. It is well because I'm stable, I have serenity. It, it, it is well with me because I'm at peace and I'm calm even in the midst of my storms. I, I, I'm well today, I, I need somebody to be well with me and whole uh, because Jesus will deliver you out of the hand 
of your enemy. You don't have to be scared because you are safe and secure in his hands. Oh, Jesus, the lily of the valley, the prince of peace, it restores. And, and now you are whole. You are reconciled. You are saved, set free, and delivered. It is through Jesus, the prince of peace, that you have eternal life. He did it. When did he do it? Over 2,000 years ago. And how did he do it? He was nailed to an old rugged cross. Uh, he, he didn't come down. He dropped his head and gave up the ghost. They buried him and two, three days later, he got up. That's how he did it. He shed blood for you and me so that we will be covered in his righteousness. And even after all of that, when he got up, he hung around for 40 days to let us know that he was sending a comforter to remind us, to empower us to do greater things, greater works, to comfort us in a time of storm, to lead and guide us so that we shall live and die with power. Good God Almighty, good God Almighty, I praise him today. I praise the Prince of Peace because of wholeness and completeness. I, I praise the Prince of Peace because I'm fulfilled and I'm tranquil. I, I praise the Prince of Peace because I I got a right relationship with him and I am at peace. Uh, I praise him, the Prince of Peace, that he brings prosperity and success in my life. I praise him because I'm healthy. I praise him because I'm victorious no matter the storm. I praise him because I'm more than a conqueror. I praise him because he did it all for me and you too. Good God Almighty, accept the gift of Christ. Accept this gift of peace the Prince of Peace, good God Almighty. We glorify you, we praise you, and we thank you. God, I thank you for Jesus the Christ, the gift of peace. Give God honor, give God glory. Give God honor, give God glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. There's someone who today need peace. You've been in turmoil, you've been distraught, despaired. You're in a challenging situation and you found it hard to keep your peace. You've been trying all kinds of things, but today I offer you Jesus the Christ. I offer you Jesus the Christ. If you've never given your life to Christ, I offer you Jesus the Christ. If you have given your life to Christ and, and but you still find it hard, just remember you have access to the peace of Christ. Because it's your right. He left it for you. Don't give it up. Activate it by faith and attend to it. Hold on to it. Keep it. And those of you who would like to give your life to Christ, repeat after me. Father God, I confess my sins. I believe your son is Jesus the Christ. He died on the cross. He gave blood for my sins. Rose on the third day with all power in his hand. I give him my heart, my mind, my body, and soul. And I'm forever changed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And I pray that all is well with your soul on the day. If you gave your life to Christ today, please contact us. We would like to con connect with you. We would like to grab hold of your hand. Welcome you into the family and walk this faith walk, this journey, this life journey by faith together to help you meet the finish line. Amen. Amen. It is well. Hallelujah. Now, as we prepare for communion, please prepare your way for your wine or juice, water, whatever beverage you have. Let us prepare for communion today. The General Confession. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all people, we acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against your divine majesty. 
provoking most justly your wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us. Have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. Most merciful Father, for your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may hereafter serve and please you in the newness of life. To the honor and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. The prayer of humiliation. We do not presume to come to this your table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood that our sinful souls and bodies may be made clean by his death and washed through his blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. The prayer of consecration. The prayer of consecration. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of your tender mercies did give your only son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death on the cross for our redemption, who made there by his oblation of himself, once offered a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute in his holy gospel, command us to continue the perpetual memory of that his precious death until his coming again. Hear us, O merciful Father, we most humbly beseech you and grant that we receiving these your creatures of bread and wine, according to your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion by partakers of his most blessed body and blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread. He took the bread and he held it up and he gave thanks. Give thanks, break and eat. And he said, take this, and eat it. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Eat, you may take. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. He held it up to God and said, thanks. Drink all of it, for this is my blood of New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remissions of sins. Do this as often as you shall drink it in remembrance of me, drink. Amen. Now that you have made your confessions and renewed your covenant with Jesus the Christ, let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For that is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. I thank the Lord for what the Lord has done in this day and in his word. Let me give our benediction and then we can um, greet each other in the joy of Jesus. Father God, we just bless your holy name, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for reminding us, oh Holy Spirit, that we can access the peace of Christ. We can activate the peace of Christ by faith, and we can attend to it, the meaning we can hold on to it and keep it. So I pray, Father, that you will continue to bless us Keep us, protect us, sustain us, guide us. May God, your face shine upon us with favor. May you be gracious to us, surrounding us with love and kindness. Lord, lift up your countenance, your face upon us with divine approval and give us your peace, a tranquil heart and life. 
In Jesus' name, I do pray. Amen. Glory to God. May you all be blessed. Once again, thank you for joining us either through Zoom or on Facebook Live. Once again, my name is Reverend Rosalind Riley, the pastor of St. Paul AME Church, Dickerson. Please join us again next Sunday at the same time.